I know one of the hardest things for you would have been at a wedding in Ireland and uh, you weren't ringside to help your good yeah. mate Dan Hooker yeah. and uh, what were the feelings over there when you were watching? Yeah, well, you, you can probably imagine the feelings but yeah, um, a bit of anxiety, uh, yeah, just antsy, um, sweaty palms, all those things that make you nervous when someone so close to you is fighting and you're limited in the things that you can do to affect any sort of change going in. Um, fight wasn't going our way. It started okay, but he got caught early. And then um, from the point he got caught, he, he I like, uh, it's Dan, so he's always in the fight, but it was, you could see that from the point he took that shot, one particular shot, that was a little bit of a snowball effect, mounting up, mounting up, mounting up, until it got worse and worse. So. Um, there was a bunch of us from the gym there and it was a very hard fight for us to watch um, yeah, just because he was losing and because he was, he was taking some good shots. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's been a lot of talk about you know should the towel have gone in, should the yeah. ref have stopped it, um, your yeah. opinions on, on that uh, yeah. are? Uh, I definitely can't make that call. Why can't I make that call? Because I wasn't there. I wasn't within one or two meters away from Dan taking those shots. So I don't, you can't see the impact of those shots. I wasn't looking into his eyes. I wasn't hearing the noise that was going on. I wasn't seeing all the small, tiny interactions and all the little bits of play-by-play uh, -play play that goes into making a decision like that. And in fact, the only people that were there were the cornermen that were there the ref and Dan, and those are, those are the only people that are qualified to make that decision. You cannot make that decision when you are not a part of the team. You are not that close to the action. You do not know the fighter as intimately as the team does. You 100% can't make that call. If you're even 10 or 15 metres back in the crowd, you 100% definitely can't make that call when you're looking through, through a screen on a, on a TV. So. Um, I 100% put those guys there that were in charge of Dan, um, you know, with with Dan's authority. We both decided that those were the best guys for the job, and we 100% back every every decision that they made. Um, those guys are, are the best in the world at what they do, and I've also said this: if there's one person who knows Dan better than me, it's Carl Weber, yeah. who's trained him for longer than I have, and um, for more fights than I have. So if it's, if it's not me that's more qualified to do it, it's definitely Carl, and he knows Dan even better than I do. So I stand by um, the decisions to not try to tell him 100%, yeah, and I'm highly critical of anybody who, who says otherwise, or I definitely think it's presumptuous that people outside of that team can even comment on such a topic, yeah. What you got out of the fight in the positive what, what can you read out of the... Well, the, 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 the positives are, um, and, and people need to not make this mistake, the positives aren't that Dan can take a lot of shots and he's very durable. That's not what, uh, that's not a positive. Like, we don't want to reward that. We don't want to put that quality on a pedestal. Oh, this guy can take it. What, what we're putting on a pedestal is Dan's bravery and courage. That's what needs to be put on a pedestal and we need to not get those two things confused. Oh this person can take a lot of shots in the face and he can take a lot of physical punishment. No, this person, you know, he can, he, he can use his courage and his bravery to push through other barriers that a lot of people can't and that's what we need to, you know, be rewarding. That's the positive thing for me, for people to uh, witness something so courageous and brave. Um, Dan got caught very early, he got caught out of position very early in a position that we practiced for him not to be and he got caught in that position and from then it was a downhill spiral but he was still, like I said, this comes down to his courage and bravery, he was still trying to execute what we, were, what we tried to do. He wasn't able to do it as effectively as we wanted him to do 
because he was damaged by them. But he, he courageously was still trying to execute it as best as that he could. Yeah. That's the positive that I want to know. Yeah, I, 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 the way I read it, like, even though he, he was shattered, he was a shattered man, he didn't have the strength to do what he wanted to do, yeah. but he still had belief in himself that he might be able to land that one shot, he might be able to turn it around. 100%, 100%, yeah. 100%, and that, that's what I think we need to, like, focus on for that fight, and that, that's what I've chosen to focus on, that, that positive aspect. I know you've talked to him since, uh, have you talked about uh, another opponent or when you would think he would be back in action? Uh, uh, for me, for, for my liking, Dan uh, suffered like, one or two concussions in that fight. I mean, when you lose your feet a little bit and start to fall but pick yourself up, you're more than likely being concussed to some degree. So for me, he needs a lot of time off. Um, this recommended minimum four weeks, that pe that's, that's rubbish in, in my opinion, you need much longer than that. I've rested people here for 12 months. I, I mean, I, you know, they don't want to rest for 12 months, but I've forcibly, well, sometimes not forcibly, sometimes I've had to lie to them to get them to take 12 months off. I, you know, I can't get your fight, sorry, there's no one available. But I've rested them for much longer than four weeks. Dan needs a lot of time off just to be on the safe side. And um, the matchmaker messaged me uh, uh, almost immediately after that fight um, was over. So the same day, which is very really rare because normally they're very busy. Uh, obviously he felt the need to message me and he messaged me. Um, we, they loved everything about the fight. They're super impressed. As soon as Dan's healed up, let us know what you want to do and we'll do anything. Oh, that's, that's a good position to be in. Exactly. As opposed to I'll put him into a fight at this time, they'll give him this opponent. So. So that, yeah, they're, they're really backing him and they're super impressed. So I'm very pleased about that.